How to define the right indicator for your program. Contextual factors. This video was shot during the Interact event, Indicators and Data Collection, in Florence on the 2nd and 3rd of March 2017. There are several factors that influence your choices when you are defining the right indicator for your program. In this video, you will hear more about why the contextual factors are important for your program and what you are doing. Back to contextual factors and baseline. You get these clearly in the programming documents which you set up. I'm sure many of them are very good and very thorough. And you then set up on those a set of strategic objectives that you want your programs to deliver. They do not stay the same, those contextual factors. Yeah? Things happen. Brexit events occur. Financing rates fall. There are collapses in digital industries. Yeah? All of these things are happening in the world in which you're operating. And you need to be able to understand how the context for your programme is changing over time, not simply something that is uh, fixed in stone from three, four, however many years ago. And the sorts of things you might be wanting to think about, you know, which were in your baseline. What's the business startup rate? What's the stock of business units? What's the self-employment rate? What's happening with derelict land? What's happening with housing affordability? What's happening with qualifications? These are all in your baselines. And they're all potential indicators which can be updated and refreshed. Now, relatively straightforwardly, to understand how the context has changed. So if, for example, you've got a program which is, or a set of projects which are very heavily built on business rates not being adequate in your geography, and the baseline data are now saying that actually business rates in your geography is actually not an issue anymore, it's sorted out, why are you providing more support for projects which potentially are not needed? Transfer the money into other things. Yeah? This is not simply in program delivery terms, simply about setting out and just constantly doing the things that you think are the right things to do, because that's what it says in the program document. Yes, you need to be aligned to that, but you also need to understand how these contextual factors, and I've just put a set out here, might be changing over time, and what that might mean for the emphasis, the balance, the tone, the direction of what your program is doing. So all the time, you're trying to understand how best you can deliver the best results, the best success for your particular intervention. And you don't need to buy in lots of consultants to refresh your baselines. You're all really bright people. You know your data sets. You've got teams who can do little bits of work for you to refresh those indicators. You might think about bringing as part of your program managing, ma management pack to your PMCs, et cetera, a contextual dashboard. These are the baseline indicators we've set ourselves, OPMC. These are how they're changing over time. You need to be alert to that. You know, we thought the problem was X. These data are now showing that X is not a problem, but Z is. We need to shift. We need to change. And nobody will criticize you for being alert to making those changes, provided it's evidence-based and provided it's well thought through. So do try and get this sense of dynamic understanding of where your programs are. Start to understand where these data might be drawn from. Quite difficult for those of you who are transnational because cross-country data, really hard to bring together, yeah? And we know that's hard, but there are ways around it. But look at these sort of sources, begin to get familiar with them, try and make them dynamic so your contextual components in your programs are fresh, current, and up-to-date. No point delivering a program based on a baseline that no longer applies. That's a waste of money. If you'd like to see more details about the evaluation of Interact programs and projects, please check out the different models Interact produced. In each of the models, you will find various materials such as videos, guidance papers, Q&A documents, links and other details.